Hi, good morning, good morning. It is Maurice. I'm Maurice, your Tampa Bay real estate expert. And I just wanted to give you all a quick tip on this beautiful Tuesday morning. Um, I'm working with a couple of buyers and, uh, you know, we're looking around, shopping for homes, you know, the fun, you know, experience of finding your dream home. And uh, some of them were interested in submitting an offer. So my tip for you is when you are to the point where you feel like you're ready to submit your offer, be prepared to submit your offer with a deposit. Now, um, I mentioned that to some of my buyers and they were looking at me crazy like, why do I have to submit a deposit? So a deposit is used it is um you either have it in the form of a money order or a personal check and it is determined on the price that you are submitting your offer for and it's submitted together because it shows the seller that you are very interested and you are serious about your offer so i hope that explains what it is now, when you submit your deposit, it is going to go into um, an escrow account. And an escrow account is just used as a holding place for your money. The money will be applied towards your, um, towards your purchase price or towards your loan, but it is held as a collateral. Um, some people say, well, I submitted a deposit and I never got it back when I, you know, didn't go through with my, um, deal. Now there is a way. Now, if you're working with me and you submit an offer and we go through the process and something doesn't work out, whether you don't go follow through, you don't pass inspections or anything like that. I'm going to make sure that I put in the clause that you receive your deposit back. A lot of other realtors are not putting that clause in when they submit the offer. So people are losing out on their deposit. Usually a deposit is um, usually 1% of the purchase price. So if you have a $180,000 house, your deposit is going to be $1,800. I know I don't want to just give $1,800 away. So make sure that your realtor is putting that stipulation into your um, contract and into your offer. Now, if you're working with me, I'm, I always make sure that happens. But I just wanted to clear the air and inform you of what a deposit is. Um, the more money that you put in your deposit, the stronger your offer is, especially when you're dealing with multiple offers on a home or property. It makes your offer a lot stronger than others. So I hope this helps. This is my tip for Tuesday. Um, be sure to like and comment and share, like my page. I am also on YouTube. So if you're not on Facebook a lot, you could catch me on YouTube. And I look forward to, you know, speaking with and working with other buyers in the area. If you have any questions, you could reach out to me. Also, if you would like to know more about the home buying process, I do have a first time home buyers online course that you could take for free. Be sure to inbox me and I can give you all the details for that. I hope to see you on the next video. Have a great day.